how you can reinvest in yourself when you're building your empire. Guys, Kim Barrett here from Your Social Voice. And today I really wanna to talk to you about reinvesting in yourself to ensure that you can grow your empire. Now, there's two different areas that I wanna talk about here. Number one is you personally, and number two is your business. Because both areas need to be invested in if you do wanna grow something big, something special for yourself and for the future. Now, look, this is not for everyone. Not necessarily does everyone want to grow a huge empire, build something that's going to be bigger than themselves and that's okay okay so I don't want you to be thinking that just because you hear people talking about how they're building these multi-million huge corporations and companies and businesses to leave a legacy or whatever that might might mean it doesn't mean that you have to do that if you're quite happy kicking along making you know six figures 100 grand 70 grand in your business and you just want to keep that going because it's lifestyle for you and your family a okay I'm not here to tell you otherwise I'm just gonna to here to tell you if you do want to grow something big a couple of things that I recommend for investing in yourself personally and also in the business side as well. So let's start off with the easy one, or the hard one depending on how you wanna look at, which is you personally. Now there's a couple of different areas when it comes to your personal growth to allow you to grow something big that you need to think about, right? It's very, very, very important. And now the first one is your health. I know it sounds stupid, like Kim, this is a business video, you have a marketing channel, why are you talking about your health? but it's one of the biggest keys to success to allow you to grow and move forward. It's something that I've done well previously and done wrong previously as well, where I took my focus away from my health and my results started to drop as well. So that comes down to physical movement, moving your body every single day, going out there and making something happen, moving around so that your body, number one, has movement, has blood flow, has oxygen, number two, so that you actually start to get healthier, your body starts to react better, you can get up earlier, you can go longer, you know, you can actually serve your clients better. It's so, so, so important. And the second one to that is your nutrition choosing the right foods to go in your body every single day. Because I know we can get busy. I know as business owners, we can get lazy. We can go, hey, we can make noise like these guys next door who are fixing up the air conditioner, which is great, right? They're out there getting that, finding 30 guys. But what you want to focus on with your nutrition is having high, dense, nutrient-rich food. Because when we're busy, when it's long at the end of the day, you've been screwing in air conditioners all day, what happens is you want something easy. The last thing you wanna do is cook. The last thing you wanna do is make a salad. The last thing you wanna do is to put together a green smoothie. You want something easy, fast, cheap, right? Because you can't be bothered doing anything else. But it has a detrimental effect, right? Because what happens over time as you do that, which I've learned, which many people have, is that your body starts to react negatively to that. You don't have as much energy. Gets to 2 p.m., you need a coffee, you need a triple espresso, right? You need just to get through the afternoon. And that's not normal. One of the big keys though that I found to help me with that is drinking water. One of my good friends, Alex Sharfin, has a natural thirst challenge where I think it's 10 days, all you do is drink water. Right, no coffees, no sparkling, no water, no teas, just water. What you'll find after doing that is most people are walking around dehydrated, right? Which makes their brain foggy, which makes it hard to make decisions, all which are important when you're running a business. So you really need to focus on that. You really need to try and open your mind up to these things. And most of the time, if you're hungry, drink some more water. If you have brain fog, drink some more water. If you're feeling tired, drink some more water. And I'm talking like liters of the stuff or, you know, I don't know what the measurement is in the US, right? But liters in Australia we have. So we drink all the liters possible. Five, six liters a day I'm probably drinking at the moment. And I still feel drained sometimes and I feel, still feel dehydrated. So you gotta make sure that you get that in. Now, that's one side, and again, I'm not an expert on those areas, I'm just saying that's an area you should look at. By no means, you can tell I'm not a personal trainer, nutritionist, water hydration expert, I'm just saying they're areas you should assess. Now, secondly is your personal development, right? Because one of the big sayings, if you've ever heard, is that your business will only grow to the extent that you're willing to grow yourself, which means personal development. Or sometimes it's like, oh, that's a bad word. Don't talk about personal development. You know, don't talk about emotions and things like that. But they're so important. Because think about all the emotions that you have in a day as a business owner. You get up, you're on a high, you're happy. You get in, start, did something wrong, you start to get upset, right? Something else happens. You get angry, you get sad, you get tired, you get frustrated. All these emotions, if you can't master yourself and the way that you respond to these things, how are you ever going to be able to grow a business 
beyond just yourself or yourself in a small team. It becomes very hard. So you need to have that personal mastery. I highly recommend doing as much personal development as you can, as you can alongside your business development. So that's going to events and courses, finding coaches and mentors in that space, you know, looking for people that can help you in those key areas. Because if you do, you'll find that your trajectory of your business really starts to take off so you can build that empire. Now, on the other hand, let's look at the business. Business growth and reinvesting in your business is so important also. And when I mean reinvesting, two key areas, number one is training and mentorship, and number two is your marketing. Guys, I've said it time and time and time again, you need to have a budget, you need to be out there spending money on your marketing and advertising, getting in front of more people if you wanna grow. Because if you're not growing, you're dying. So you really need to have that as a key focus within your business, is to spend money on that. We've had previous years where we've spent upwards of, don't tell my accountant, $120,000 plus on our business development, on mentors, on courses, on trainings, not just for myself, but for my team as well, making sure that they have the cutting edge knowledge ahead of anyone else so that we can get the best results. We have mentors in sales, in marketing, in finance, in all the key areas of our business to ensure that we can keep growing, right? So that we can sustainably grow over time because we know like, and I know, I don't know everything. I went to university and studied marketing and management, but there's nothing in university about running a digital agency. That's not a thing, right? It's not a course you can't take uh, running an agency 101. It's not a course you can go and do. So you need to get that information and the information is easily accessible from people who have been there before, who have done it before, people who can teach you how to do it in the context of the current world. Not they wrote a textbook about it 10 years ago and now suddenly it comes out. And over time, you've got to keep investing in your business, in mentors, in coaches, in events, so that you can keep growing, keep up to date with what's happening and really use that to leverage and grow your business. Because really, you're only one small thing away from building a huge empire. The reason why this video is done in behind, and you can probably a little bit see it behind me, is it's three, uh, three canvases. And each one of those canvas is a reflective of a sales letter that was written by each one was written by one of the top three, you know, really in my mind, copywriters of all time being David Ogilvy, Gary Halbert, and then we also have Eugene Schwartz on there as well. And each one of those sales letters is representative of millions and millions and millions of dollars in sales. Just one letter that they used to use through direct mail. So you're only one sales letter, you're only one funnel, one ad, one successful campaign away from achieving everything you've ever wanted in your business. So you need to be prepared for it, which means investing in testing, investing in coaching and mentoring and investing in yourself to ensure that your body can physically handle that, right? Investing in time off as well, holidays, great investment guys. So hopefully you've got a little bit of that from today on how you can focus on investing in yourself so that you can grow your empire. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, comment and let me know if you have any questions below or if what really resonated with you in any of the content I've shared today, let me know. And always subscribe so that you can see this before anyone else. Until next, guy, next time guys, I'm Kim Barrett. You've been awesome, adios.